Okay, so uh, sometimes we have problems with our ventilation system. Today we're gonna go over uh, how to identify what, what the problem is or if you have a problem and how to correct that, okay? Because uh, ventilation system is extremely important that it's always functioning, okay? So uh, follow along. This is probably gonna be the longest video I have because it perhaps is the most important one. All right, so uh, first, how do you know you have a problem? Well, chances are that red light that red light up there on the wall is going to be flashing, okay? So if that is flashing, it just continues to flash, there is a problem with the ventilation system. The first thing you should do is come over here and take a look at this panel, okay? So if this light's on, okay, I'll put it on, so that's what it, that's what it would look like. If that light is on, but that red light's flashing over there, it means the ventilation system is not working. The first thing you should do is check to see if this heat switch is turned off or on. You want it to be off, okay? If it is on, that is probably what triggered this, the problem because if the system, like let's say somebody last night left the heat on, today you come in and you don't know the heat's been left on and you start running carts, the ventilation system is gonna start up and sometimes when it starts up, like the fans start going and the heat's already turned on, it triggers a, a problem code and the whole system shuts off. So if that's the case, it's just a matter of uh, an easy reset outside, but um, we're, gonna, we're gonna look into uh, what else could be the problem. So we'll take a look at a few other things here. Okay, another problem could be the belt on this fan at the back of the track or that fan over there, that box fan. These two fans have belts that run them and those belts can sometimes um, break and if they break, it's gonna trigger a code that there's a problem in the system that's gonna shut the whole thing off, okay? So it's a little dark in there, but you can see that there is a belt going from that top pulley to the bottom pulley. Here, just to the left of it is a spare belt, okay? So there's a spare belt in case that one uh, there breaks. If it breaks, you need to take off the uh, screws that hold the screen on the outside. You need to take those off and uh, put the new belt on and you can tighten this motor. That motor there that uh, spins the fan is held on with four bolts and they use a 13 millimeter wrench. You'll need two 13 millimeter wrenches and you will have to uh, loosen those off and push the motor down to tighten that belt to make sure it's good and tight. Otherwise it'll start slipping and it'll flip off right away. All right, so uh, that is uh, if the system quits, that could very well be the problem right there. You need to check that. Okay, this is called the air makeup unit. This whole thing is called the air makeup unit. Um, so now you need to come out here after you've checked the belt inside and you've checked that switch, the heat switch, to make sure that that's off. You need to come out here and take this panel off. You just flip these little levers here. And this panel comes off. All right. And then uh, once, turn that off, that's the main power switch, okay? For the whole system, that's the main power switch. Turn that off, count 30 seconds, okay? Count to 30, turn it back on, all right? And now, look in here and you're gonna see, you may see uh, alarm. See this one, if this one is lit up, all right? If that one's lit up, you push the reset button. And then there's also up here, show you that up here there is a blue reset button there and a blue reset button there push both of those and all those once all those are pushed the whole system should start back up again um, you're gonna come over here and look inside here and those things are gonna be moving very very slowly to open up Okay, once those are fully open, then uh, the system is gonna start up. Now, if after working for a little while, uh, after it starts up for a little while, if the system shuts off again, it's probably, there's could be a bigger problem. And that's, don't worry about it, that's easily fixed too. And that is in this side, there is a giant fan. Let me set up the camera here and we'll get that. All right, so there's a giant fan inside here. What I'd recommend before you go in here to check on this is that you turn that main power switch off, okay? So we're gonna do that. All 
Okay, here we are inside the air makeup unit. Here's the door we just came in, we just opened up. Here's the big fan. Here's the big motor that powers the fan. Here's all the air comes through. And these are the giant burners. So these things here uh, have a giant flame blowing and that's what heats up the air. Okay. Uh, now, it's a good thing I came in here because as you can see, this is supposed to have two belts on it. You see there's only one? There is the other belt. You can see it's completely wrecked. So something very bad, something very bad has happened to this belt. All right. By the cashier area in the track are new belts. They look like this. Okay, so we're gonna put that new belt on now. We'll show you how that works. Okay, so start off by putting the belt on the smaller pulley. This is the pulley on the motor. Put it on that one first. And let me get the light on there so I can see all this. Okay, so now this is the big pulley. Now you take the belt, put it on the big pulley, and spin it around. And when you spin it, it should... I'm doing this with one hand, it makes it a little more difficult. All right, there. Now you can see two belts on, everything's good. Check the tension, they're all good. All right, and that's how you, that's how you uh, put belts back on, okay? So uh, if a belt gets damaged and gets flipped off of there, then uh, you need to get a new one and put it back on. And that's that. So now, after having done all that, I would go back out there and um, reset the uh, switch, like turn the master switch on and push those reset buttons and the ventilation system should work. All right, that's it. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you put these panels back on. The system will not work very long without these panels.